standard programming cables really suck. A few months ago, I was browsing the interwebs and I saw something that I thought was pretty interesting. It was the AIOC and it's for use with a Baofeng radio, Oshan radio, or other radios that use a Kenwood style programming cable, such as, again, the Baofeng UV16R. Now, this is a pretty interesting concept because what it does is it uses USB-C, plugs into your Baofeng or your Oshan, and then the USB-C can plug into your computer or it can plug into something like your smartphone. And depending on where you plug this in, it will give you different options. If you plug it into your computer, for example, you could run Chirp and you could program your radio with this little device. If you plug it into your Android device, you could use APRS Droid and you could encode and decode APRS signals. Nice to have that ability on your Baofeng radio to transmit and receive APRS. So that's what I wanna show you today. We're gonna to walk through this and I'm gonna show you what I know. I'll talk about some of the things I've tested for compatibility and we'll see how this performs. And I do wanna talk really quick about the case or the lack of case here because I am working on a project and I think that I could 3D design a nice little hard case for this to protect the PCB. Additionally, I'm gonna tell you all about where you could purchase this device or build this device because this is a kit that's still in development and it's really an interesting concept. So here we are on the table and there it is. This is again, whoa, that's, hold on. I think that's better. It's still not straight. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and plug in our USB-C to this device, okay? And uh, the first thing I do just kind of want to show you is the APRS droid setup, because I think that's the coolest, most beneficial feature for this. And if we were to just say, hey, let's show you how to program a radio in Chirp, you, you kind of already know, right? So what I have here, USB-C plugged into the AIOC. On the side of this Baofeng radio, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in this AIOC. My radio is not on yet. I'm going to leave it off for just a moment. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Google Play Store and I'm gonna download and install APRS Droid. Now, I paid $4.50 or $4.99 for this version, but I do believe that there's a free APK version on their website, it's an older version. Go ahead and click install, and once it's done installing, we'll open up the program. With the program open, let's go ahead and plug in our USB. Now, a couple of things I wanna note here. I do have my volume all the way up on my phone, and I also have my volume about three quarters of the way up on my Baofeng radio. I am programmed into channel 144.390, our frequency on the Baofeng radio. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set up APRS Droid. It wants my call sign, which I'm gonna use as W9FFF, and I'm gonna use the designator of dash seven for now. I'm not gonna put in APRS over the internet, as I'm not gonna be using that, so I'm gonna click OK. Now at this point, we have two things to kind of consider. We have our Baofeng radio, which needs some settings configured. As you can see, I already do have some of them configured, but uh, we also need to configure a couple of things in APRS Droid. So first things, let's take a look at the Baofeng. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug in an external antenna to the radio itself. With my external antenna plugged in. And the reason I'm using an external antenna is I'm in an area where I'm not receiving a lot of APRS packets on 144.390. But I do wanna go into the menu of the Baofeng radio and I wanna change a few things. Number one, I'm gonna change my squelch and I have it down to one. The reason I have my squelch to one is, is if I don't have the squelch enabled at all, the APRS droid will never actually transmit uh, over or help transmit to the Baofeng radio or allow the Baofeng radio to transmit is what I'm trying to say. But uh, so if you don't have your set to one, set it to one. If you set it too high, basically what's gonna happen at that point is every time you're receiving a signal, it's possible that your Baofeng radio might not be able to hear it and therefore won't transfer the information to the phone. So I have mine set to one, it seems to be working okay. And the next thing I wanna make sure I, I change on here is going to be the Vox, okay? So if I go to Vox, I set my Vox to one. Now I've seen other people say set it to 10. If I set it to 10, it's less sensitive, but if I set it to one, it's most sensitive as I understand. Regardless, I never really got it to work with Vox set to 10, so I set it down to one and it seemed to work okay. There might be a sweet spot for you. With that, let's just go ahead and set this to the side here. Again, we have our AIOC plugged in, we have an antenna plugged in, we have our Vox, and we have our squelch set in. And one more thing I didn't mention was I have this set into narrowband as some instructions online I saw kind of suggested that as well. So I went ahead and I just went to the menu and I scrolled until I found, 
until I found WN for wider narrow and I set it to narrow. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click exit here. And now in theory, we should be receiving APRS data provided anything is transmitting. We now have our Baofeng radio configured, the squelch, the Vox, the narrow bandwidth, plugged into an external antenna, plugged into the AIOC, into the USB-C, which is then into our phone that's running APRS Droid. As you can see, I'm gonna click start tracking in just a moment, but for our intents and purposes of monitoring APRS, we're gonna use the Yezu FT3D. And the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click start tracking. And when I click start tracking, it's gonna go through a process of starting everything up via AFSK and you could already see that it automatically transmitted a signal over the airwaves and the Yesu picked it up there you go so next up we're gonna see if the radio can receive over the airwaves with uh, APRS data so I'm gonna send it from the Yesu to the Baofeng the Baofeng is gonna transfer that signal through the USB-C and the phone should decode it and there it is W9 FFF wide one receive if I click on it it gives me just a little bit more information like I'm only 0.0, .0 kilometers away from the location of W9 FFF-7 but that is just real briefly how cool this little device is, it basically works like a mobile link or anything along those lines to transmit and send data or emulated signals, if you will. L what about programming? Can we program a radio with the AIOC? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this USB-C and uh, well, yeah, I can't plug this into a computer. So I'm gonna get a different cable, a USB-C to a USB-A cable, plug it into my computer, and then we're gonna load up Chirp. Okay, we got Chirp loaded up, and the thing about Chirp is this radio, the UV16R, I think it's just a UV5R, I can't remember, so we're gonna have to try that all out. But the radio does appear to be under COM, COM port one, or the AIOC does at uh, least appear to be under COM port 01. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna find Baofeng and see if we have an option for UV16, which we don't. So let's find the UV5R, and we're gonna click on OK. Once we click OK, uh, we're just gonna click OK again, and it says an error occurred that COM port Port one isn't available. So let me just check out a couple things here real quick. One thing I will say is the USB-C cable plugging into the AIOC was not fully seated in. So if you're having a problem where chirps not being read or maybe even APRS droid, take a look and make sure that that USB-C cable is fully seated. And let's give this one more shot. While this is downloading the code plug from the radio, now's a good time to consider subscribing to Ham Radio Dude. And it downloaded the code plug. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-upload it just to make sure everything works and I'll be right back. The Baofeng radio has been programmed with the AIOC. This little device is a pretty cool device. Now this is a build your own kind of deal. So you could order a kit or order the bill of materials. If you go to the GitHub page, you can get more information. The GitHub is linked below, but this is a cool little device that will allow you to do multiple things like program your radio or utilize your radio to send and receive APRS data. It's pretty neat little thing. Check it out. Thanks for checking out the channel. This is Ham Radio Dude. Until next time, 73. Oh, and share this with a friend.